meeting that we're here at today. It's a really good opportunity for us all to kind of just get together and present all of our latest research and, uh, you know, kind of see where we can feed back into each other's work. So that includes people working on the instrument teams on ExoMars, for example, as well as all the scientists doing all the background science as well feeds into this mission. Most interestingly with all of these meetings, it's not what we've most recently learned, but what we've still got to try and work out. So every talk will finish with a conclusion slide and then a kind of questions that we've just realised we don't know the answer to yet. There's a huge range of people who've come into planetary science. There's some traditional planetary scientists, there's geochemists, there's people like me who've entered the field completely new. The beauty of Aurora is it brings different groups together. And so you learn about other fields and how they can interact with other fields, and that's fantastic. What's exciting is that we've got a whole set of new young people who will actually be doing the hard work on these missions. They have the technical skills, the computational skills that these missions need, the engineering skills to really make this happen. So it's really a great meeting place for all these different groups to tackle these great science problems, actually one of the most fundamental problems we have in science today. It does bring home a certain reality in the sense that you know you get a much bigger picture. It's very easy when you're just working on your own particular line of research to kind of get very focused on one particular thing. So yeah, when you get to, to see everybody else and see all the talks that people are presenting, it just uh, yeah, it gives a really nice sense of the, of the big picture of the, the whole endeavour. It's getting very exciting because, of course, we're close to the first mission of a European landed rover on the surface of Mars as part of an international effort that's now been going on for decades to understand the past history and habitability of that planet. Ultimately, I think we will soon be able to answer that question. Was there, and possibly is there even, life on Mars? Sometimes I find it incredible that I'm actually working on active space missions. The fact that the work I'm doing at the moment is, in even just a small way, contributing to the ongoing endeavour of searching for life on Mars and just exploring the environments that exist just within our own solar system, let alone elsewhere. I find it very fulfilling to be part of this whole story. When we look at the planet Earth and we look at everything around us, we can see you know, an abundance of biology and life. And the Earth is incredibly unique in this manner. We don't see anything like this anywhere else in the solar system. Through trying to understand the limits of life on Earth, we can try and apply this knowledge to really answer this question of whether or not there is life elsewhere. That's just a really exciting thing to be working on.